Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket, the Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Minso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hello, hello, welcome to Grim Fandango. This is a, an old game, 1998 I believe. But it's um, one of the great... One of the great adventure games. Uh, probably one of the best examples of storytelling in any game ever, I would say. You play as this guy called Manny. He is a travel agent in the, de in the land of the dead. Uh, when people die... They get sent here, and he has to send them on their way. So it's a bit awkward to controls. I've got to use the arrow keys of all things. And enter is looking it's at some things. Sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. <laughs> we have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too a mass poisoning. Specific cases, so all clients oh my first god. Come, first maybe serve. someone, so maybe some saint was poisoned and I can go and get her. Whatever <laughs> you say, Hiffy. So what's over here? It's a computer. It's a cool looking computer, isn't it? Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. <laughs> Oops. I may have just done that again. Okay. So we wanted we need to get to our this mass poisoning so that we can get a good client. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Good idea, Manny, good idea. So it's a kind of classic adventure game, you pick up things and you combine them and it's uh like point and click, except you don't it looks like a point long and click. Day of you walk around and press enter. 
So I've got some cards. Put them in my jacket. I've got the ace. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Oh, how do I get to my inventory? I here we go. So I can see all my things. I've got a deck of cards. I've got a single ace, and I got my scythe. Should we get that out? This is cool. <laughs> my yeah. scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Of course you do. My scythe. Oops. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. How do I put the item away? My scythe. Shut up. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. There we go. Oh, there we go. Good. So, we'll go out of our office. See uh, what's on that desk over there, actually. Just give it a quick check. Anything interesting? Nah. Okay. Let's leave the office. Hello. So this is uh, whose office is this one? Let's have a look. Domino's door. Domino's is probably scared. I'll steal one of his files. He's, Not a bad idea, he's one actually. of the uh, other salesmen. And then there's uh, this lady over here who's the receptionist. Hello. Oh. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. That's Don. Don's office. So we'll go over to this desk here. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Oh yeah, hole punch. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna get our card, and we'll put that in the hole punch. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Good. Can we get any more? Thanks, but I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. Ah, uh, she got solitaire on the computer. Lucky woman. Let's, um... Let's go down here. What's, what's through here, actually? Anything? Oh, it's another lift. So there's two lifts. One goes down to the, uh... The main floor, I guess. Here we go. So, what's in here? Hmm. I've got a uh, statue. It's all kind of inspired by the Mexican Day of the Dead, obviously. It's locked. It's locked. Oh dear. We can run, actually. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Anything through here? Ooh. Don't look like it. Oh, no. There is... I knew there was something. I played this before years and years ago. Ah, there we go. It's uh, all coming back to me. <laughs> Whose office is this? Is this it's the locked. uh it's locked as well, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's um anything through out here? No, nothing. Let's go outside. Can I? Here we go. Nice big doors. So let's go to the uh, the festivals on. I think here we go. And there's a clown with balloons over here. Yeah. Hello. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing, what practicing? What? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> um. Let's have a balloon. Have one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you Bet can't you can do, a, do cat. a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name <laughs> one. Let's do Robert, Robert Frost. Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Looks just like Robert Frost. <laughs> What else can you do? I need to get two worms. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, uh, what now? Uh, let's have a dead worm. worm. Heck, that's okay. easy. That's <laughs> just an empty balloon. There's no limit on those. That's not what I'll have another one then. That's not what balloons are for. 
My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? Let's have another one. Do you uh, have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Of course he does. <laughs> Thank you. We'll need that later. Let's go and explore. Ooh, where am I going? Okay, let's go into this alleyway. Ooh. Can we go in here? It's huge. I can't open it. Clearly not. We can climb up this thing though. I think this is the way to get to Domino's office. Yeah, the window's open. There's these little skeletal pigeons everywhere. Let's go in there. So this is... I think this is Don's office, actually. Let's have a look at the computer. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. <laughs> so we can change it now. To... Oh, cripes, Eva, just sign up yourself, will ya? I'm busy. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripes, Eva, just sign it yourself, will ya? I'm busy! <laughs> now we can get him to sign anything we want. Okay, what else is in here? Anything of interest? There's a... a tube? He's got a lock on it. I can't uh. believe he doesn't trust me. <laughs> What else have we got? My f His head kind of looks at stuff. There we go, look. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. We're late for the poisoning. This isn't good. We need to get a move on. Let's go to Domino's office now. Can we do that? Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. Damn it, Domino. No use for it. Hmm. Going right down there. We'll get Eva to sign something. Uh, I'm not sure what she needs to sign. I think we use the balloons to mess up, mess up this like tube system. Let me in. Come on. Okay. Anything this way yet? Can we get through here? There she is. The number nine. One of these days and it's locked. Yeah, yeah, number nine. It's the fast track to heaven. It's locked. Okay, they're both locked still. Let's uh go in here. Let's try and go in here. <laughs> the controls are a bit iffy. There we go. We're in. Okay, let's go down to the basement. They're all leaving for the poisoning, oh no. I'm gonna be late. I need a car. Let's do this. Not when there's a door. Not when there's a door, <laughs> yeah. Come on, open up, I need a car. Oh my god. Oh, it's Glottis. Uh, I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, are you a driver? Are you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them, just wrench them. Okay. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Glottis. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message <laughs> for a Mr. Calavera. That's kind of a bit funny. Uh, the driver said that Mr. Hurley said oh my God. that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my it's a bit awkward home. to get this game working yeah, on Windows 7. Nice? Uh, and there's a few bugs occasionally. But you get used to it. Looks like I need, a new, like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Oh, Glottis just wants to yes, drive the car. You do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? 
Oh, oh no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. No. Oh. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm. I'm. I'm too big. Oh. The cars are just too small. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch yeah, job do that. to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. Oh, we need to give him a work order. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? So we could get yeah, yeah, yeah. Don to I sign it. Anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Easy. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> bye bye, Gratis. We'll see you soon. So now we can get. Eva to sign the work order for us because uh, we, we changed the computer. So here we go, let's do that. And then we can go to the poisoning and get some good clients. Buenos dias. Buenos Manny, dias. Why aren't you at the poisoning? Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! <laughs> ah, there we go. Sorted. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. He's not even there. Ava, As we know. Pressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. <laughs> To the poisoning. Yeah. Let's do this. Come on, Glottis, you can fit. <laughs> hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well. They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Come on. Oh my god, this is the world of the living. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Domino. Domino. Mm, the living still give me the creeps. They are a bit weird. <laughs> I can't so this is our uh, hands. I'm a professional. This is our client that we've got from the poisoning. Let's uh let's do this. <laughs> He's a little guy. Nice bathroom. <laughs> but we offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to. Cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh yes. Oh Slam yes. The front into the weed. Tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. <laughs> you'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here. Have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. 
I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. <laughs> I've got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! Oh, no. no way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I ought to... <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Let's take a good lead. Okay. There we have it. That's um Act one, I guess. Next we gotta find a good lead before the end of the week. We're out of here. Hopefully we can do it. We'll see.